Here is a complete ranking of all 30 MLB teams. What I will do in this video is explain every baseball team's history and success and rank them accordingly. There will be some factors that I consider while ranking, such as making the playoffs, winning percentages, and of course, championship wins and losses. Also, for the record, this is simply my opinion. Here are the final 15 teams on the list. Number 15, Chicago Cubs. You don't have to be a baseball fan to know that the Chicago Cubs were cursed by a billy goat. And this curse alone is mostly the reason why the Cubs rank middle of the line in the MLB. Before the curse, the Cubs won two of nine World Series. Then, in the 1945 World Series, the curse began when the Cubs refused to allow the Billy Goat Tavern owner and his goat into one of their games. They failed to make the World Series for 72 years, including a 1969 collapse, Leon Durham's error, and the Bartman incident. It wouldn't be until 2016 where they won the World Series versus the Indians. Down 3-1 in the series, a miracle had to happen for the Cubs to break their weird goat curse. This is going to be a tough play. Score 19.4. Number 14, Kansas City Royals. In their 53 seasons, the Royals haven't done much other than the four seasons they reached the World Series. Let's explore. The Royals have 97 wins and a great player in George Brett, but they can't pull it off against the Phillies. Well, that's okay, because in 1985, Pine Tar Brett and the Royals pulled off a 3-1 deficit to both the Toronto Blue Jays and St. Louis Cardinals to win it all. The Giants and Royals shoot it out in seven games, with the Giants holding off a 3-2 victory in Game 7. A year later in 2015, the Royals won their second World Series in five games versus the Mets. Score, 19.8. Number 13, Detroit Tigers. For over 100 years, the Detroit Tigers have stayed in World Series contention. This dates back to the exhilarating year of 1907, where temper tantrum Ty Cobb throws a fit after losing three straight. They stepped up their game in the 30s to 40s, and then Alkaline led Detroit to make them world champions. But ever since the late 80s, Detroit has struggled for success, reaching a franchise low in 2003, losing a couple world series, and stinking till today. But hey, there's always next year, right? Score 20.1 Number 12, Arizona Diamondbacks the only reason the Diamondbacks rank this high is because every other team before them have either struggled with droughts or World Series losses. The D-Macs have been to the World Series once, which they won, and for their other 20-ish years they've been somewhat forgotten, sometimes reminding other teams that they still exist. Anyway, let's explore the 2001 World Series. After falling 3-2 against the Yankees, the championship seemed in the hands of New York. However, Randy Johnson and the D-backs forced a Game 7, and in the bottom of the ninth, tied 2-2 with the bases loaded, Luis Gonzalez walked up to bat. Score, 20.9. Number 11, Houston Astros. Judging by their recent years, the Astros should definitely be within the top 10, but their history hasn't always been successful. Over their 60 seasons, the Astros have experienced many blows. The first blow, sucking until 2005. Their second blow, 2005. After reaching their first World Series, Houston was swept by the White Sox. The third blow, their cheating scandal. In 2017, the Astros of buzzer boy Jose Altuve stole signs by banging on trash cans. Since the scandal, the Astros haven't won a World Series, losing two. Score, 21.5. Number 10, Atlanta Braves. Atlanta sports have been fairly unlucky over the years, but their baseball squad ranks within the better half of MLB teams. Regarded as the oldest franchise, the Braves were first located in Boston, where they split the World Series and moved to Milwaukee with Hank Aaron, where they split the World Series again. Then they moved to Atlanta in 65 and wouldn't have success until the 90s. What happened in the 90s, you might be asking? Well, Atlanta lost a bunch of World Series. I mean, it was just choke after choke and collapse after collapse. Thankfully, the Braves with their trio won at least one World Series in 95 against the Indians. In 2021, Atlanta won the World Series. Score, 23.1. Number 9, Toronto Blue Jays. 
The Toronto Blue Jays will be the last mediocre team on this list. And I say that Toronto is mediocre because they really haven't done much besides two seasons. In 1992, featuring Dave Steeb, Roberto Alomar, and Joe Carter, Toronto would face the Atlanta Braves. Timlin. Nixon butts. Timlin on it. Throws to first. For the first time in history, the World Championship banner will fly north of the border. While a normal team would likely fail to make the World Series the following year, the Blue Jays were hungry for more. In 1993, they came back and won the pennant again against the Phillies. Score, 29.4. Number 8, Pittsburgh Pirates. Almost all age groups of Pittsburgh, with the exception of Gen Z's, have gotten to watch their fair share of success with the Pirates. In the 1900s, they had Honus Wagner. In the 20s, Pie Trainer. In the 40s, they had Ralph Kiner. Oh, and the 60s, a no-brainer. By far the proudest moment in Pittsburgh history is when Bill Mazeroski hit a walk-off home run in Game 7 to seal off the mighty Yankees. They would later perform very well that decade with Roberto Clemente, and played even better baseball in the 70s. Willie Stargell led the franchise to two more World Series victories, and the entire city of Pittsburgh was celebrating. Then the 80s, oh, we don't talk about the 80s. Score, 31.6. Number 7, Cincinnati Reds. Similar to the Pirates, the Reds are another team that had major success in the 70s. In the decade, they would reach four World Series with responsible gambler Pete Rose, Johnny Bench, and Joe Morgan. One included a competitive seven-game series against the Red Sox. With a high fly ball. It should be all over. Geronimo's under and Cincinnati has won the World Championship and also an unexpected sweeping of the Yankees the following year. Score, 32.4. Number 6, Oakland A's. Okay, just for clarification, Oakland A's now, bad. Oakland A's before, good. Back in the old days, the Athletics were in Philadelphia, where they would reach eight World Series. Then, after a 39-year playoff drought from Philly to KC to Oakland, they finally had success in the 70s. With Jim Catfish Hunter and Reggie Jackson, the A's would win three consecutive World Series. They edged past the Reds, Mets, and Yankees before trading off Reggie Jackson in 75. The A's dynasty seemed over, but then base stealer Ricky Henderson and Mark McGuire came along in the 80s. They've been rebuilding ever since. Score, 38.9. Number 5, San Francisco Giants. The San Francisco Giants have been around for a while and hold the second best winning percentage in MLB history despite their long history. The New York Giants, no relation to these Giants, were very dominant in the dead ball era. Christy Matthewson pitched, then Mel Ott hit, and they made 12 World Series up until the late 30s. Then Willie Mays came along, becoming a legend for the franchise. He helped sweep the dominant 54 Indians with a great over-the-shoulder catch and won 12 consecutive Golden Gloves. However, the Giants wouldn't experience great success again until the 90s. Yup, that's Barry Bonds, our franchise player. Sure, he's a steroid freak, but at least he could hit the ball. He can't quite hold a World Series lead, though. Then Buster Posey came along in the 2010s and won a bunch more World Series. Score, 42.4. Number 4, Los Angeles Dodgers. Yes, maybe I did the Dodgers dirty by putting three teams ahead of them, but according to the World Series count, LA has more World Series losses than the Yankees, even though the Yankees have almost double the amount of their appearances. A lot of these losses came from the Jackie Robinson era in Brooklyn. The Dodgers lost five World Series in exchange for one victory over the Yankees. The 60s would prove much better when Sandy Koufax was pitching, but from then until the 2000s, they would be very average. Got him, and that'll do it. As the catfish comes in and strikes out Joe Ferguson. Long drive right field, it is. Goodbye. A big, big World Series for Gracie Jackson. Then, in the late 2010s, Clayton Kershaw and Cody Bellinger brought the team to a few more World Series. Score, 51.1. Number 3, Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox were born in 1901 and would do great for their first couple decades. Cy Young, Tris Speaker, Babe Ruth... Babe Ruth? 
What's he doing here? Sell him to the Yankees. Oh, now the Red Sox are cursed by the Bambino. So now not a single one of their great players, such as Ted Williams, Carl Yastrzemski, or Roger Clemens could break their curse. However, after almost a century of falling short, the Red Sox turned the tides in the 2000s with Pedro Martinez. In 2003, their rivals, the Yankees, beat them in an extra innings game 7, but they came back the following year and overcame a 3-0 deficit. This comeback drove the Red Sox to four later World Series, all in which they won. Score, 53.6. Number 2, St. Louis Cardinals. Over their long history, the St. Louis Cardinals have held many dynasties, which I will limit to five. Their first was in the 20s and 30s. It all started when drunk Grover Cleveland Alexander made a save in Game 7. The Cardinals stepped up and dominated the following decade. Their second dynasty came in the 40s, which sparked with a Krawski home run to upset the Yankees. Arguably St. Louis's best player, Stan Musial, would dominate the league that decade. Then came the 60s with Bob Gibson, the 80s with Ozzie Smith, and finally the 2000s, led by Albert Pujols. St. Louis won it all in 2006 and 11, proving themselves to be one of the most historically dominant teams. But then... Bye guys. Don't worry, they'll probably have another dynasty soon. Score, 56.9. And finally, for the best team in baseball, the New York Yankees. No surprise here, when a franchise has won 27 World Series in their history, there is no other team that can top that. It's truly been a great ride for Yankees fans throughout the years. If you remember, the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth to New York, where he would immediately dominate the league. Then Lou Gehrig came along, and as he retired in the 30s, Joe DiMaggio, Joe McCarthy, Mickey Mantle, and Yogi Berra joined the squad. Them four combined would win a total of 16 World Series, by far their most dominant era in the league. Their major success finally peaked from the 90s to 2000s, where Derek Jeter, A-Rod, and Mariano Rivera played for the Yankees. The Yankees have in total held the best winning percentage, best percentage of making the postseason, and the most World Series. So to end off this video, the Yankees have a whopping score of 127.4. But anyway, that's the list. Every single MLB team ranked. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.